Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. I squeaked. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Class Farm. Uh, so we are playing here on Class Farm. We are going to be um, setting up a brewery. Uh, now, so this is my family farm, and it is all self-contained. So we'll give you the tour first to start here in this first episode. Uh, I'm going to tour you around. We have, and then we have it's seasons, so we have tasks to do in prepping our fields. Um, most of them don't need to be plowed, but we have some lime spreading that needs to be done and uh, all that good stuff. So let's take a look at our equipment and our farm. Um, we are on the main farm here. I've got my van because we're going to have a lot of driving to do. We have a couple different locations that we're going to go to in a little bit here, uh, but I'll show you how our, our um, field is set up. For those of you that are wondering, this is uh, located in Holland. It is called North Frisian Marsh. Um, in that area. And uh, so we, here we have a class Axion 870. This is going to be kind of our tow truck slash around the farm puller. We're going to use this to get do the arger, uh, arger, the arger wagon, arger, uh, our auger wagon. Uh, and then we have our, our horsepower machine here in this, the Zarion 5000. Uh, and I didn't know this tractor actually has a cab that is reversible. <laughs> I did a whole review on the class, the class, uh, DLC and I didn't I missed that uh, but whatever um, we have the 5,000 model so it's super high horsepower and we're gonna be pulling this uh, Condor the Amazon Condor um, that's that for this area we've got our little uh, workshop here uh, cleaning tools and uh, lime and then over there we have our seed pallets and all that good stuff um, grain silo we do have some grain that we need to sell and we can even start up do a little bit of beer brewing this time we're, we're uh, working on a brewery here so um, I've got this for pulling the grain and the hops and also this for keeping the crops uh, fertilized the Amazon that we purchased also does fertilize so we'll lay down a, a patch of fertilizer with that and then we'll spray and take care of the weeds with this um, got a manitou usually what happens is you fill one of these up and then you have to empty it out to put another type of liquid in it so we've got the manitou to move those containers around um, this is our grain truck. We're going to be using this to port uh, hops and uh, wheat and barley to the uh, the different factories that we use to make the beer. And we're really doing it from square one. So you can't just, we're not just making beer. We're actually getting all the products and making them ourselves. So uh, over here we have our um, harvester pen. And we have a monster harvester that we just bought. It is a class lexicon uh, really nice harvester, uh, brand new, hasn't been run yet, won't be run until the end of this year, but we have it on, on hand so we can get used to setting it up. And it's an 8900 model, just gorgeous piece of machinery, and we have the corn header for the hops. I believe we need a corn header for hops, I could be wrong. If we don't need it, we'll sell it, but I'm pretty sure you'll harvest hops with the corn header. And then we have the, um, the standard um, draper with... Actually, this is kind of a combination of auger and draper, but it's mostly draper. Uh, with um, for taking the wheat and barley, and uh, so that is the pen there. And so that's all. That's pretty much all the equipment that we're going to need on the farm. I'll show you the fields that we have to work with. We may have to rent a plow here and there, but I don't think the ho the hops grow from a, a cedar, so they're not. They don't come from a planter. So I think we're not going to have to um, do any kind of plowing after each. Grouping. So let's go ahead and take a tour of the farm fields. This is our Rumbler. <laughs> it's actually a Ford Euro minivan. So we have this field here, which is grass. This is actually going to go away. And you can see over there, field 20, field 33. I'm going to combine these two fields. So that's, this is where the plowing is going to take place. Um, I'm going to actually uh, take a sip of coffee. And uh, I'm going to plow this field, and I'm going to uh, make it one big field. Um, I'll probably leave that little section over there, grass, but this part right here is going to be all, um, all probably barley or wheat maybe, because we don't really need wheat, but we needed some of it. Uh, over there we have, um, this field, which is going to be our, um, hops. And then down on the southern end here, we're going to have our barley and we're going to make a ton of it. And then on off years, if we find that we have too much production and we can't make it, you know, we can't finish off all of the beer or whatever, uh, we will uh, 
grow like canola, sunflower seeds, that kind of stuff, and, and make money from alternate crops. Because obviously we need to take care of our fields, and, and uh, I think we're going to do really well. Uh, this business that we bought uh, took most of our money. We had like about a $10 million investment when we purchased this, and we have about $100,000 left off. I have a little bit of a loan out, but I have more loan I can take out. So if we need more money, we have about four or $500,000 that we can take out of the bank uh, to buy things like, I think we're going to need a baler and maybe a transport wagon for the bales, but we'll see. Um, so and the, so we're, the next step that we're going to make, we're going to run over here to uh, our uh, facility that we purchased. And this was, we actually got a really good deal on this um, it had been abandoned for a while, and uh, not that it didn't do well. When it was open, it did really well, but the the family died, and uh, like like one of the the, the kids just squabbled over the you know, after the parents had passed away, and instead of actually doing anything with it, they decided just to sell it. Nobody wanted to take it over, so it sat for a while, and uh, needed to be fixed up. But we took our investment and fixed it up and got it back up and running. So here is the brewery. Uh, we're still learning how to run this thing, so you'll have to be patient with me as I figure this one out uh we've got our there's a truck there for delivering water because um, we're going to need a lot of that and i don't know that we even have a water source yet i'm gonna have to find a water source for that but um we got that we have over here i think is this is where we deliver our wheat and our barley that looks like i don't know maybe wheat there or barley i don't know we'll have to figure all this out uh, the facility did come with some uh, class equipment. Um, we've got a large uh, 1914 um, Torian, and this is going to be used to um, move around the beer pallets because they're really heavy. When the beer comes out in, on the pallets, the pallets are super heavy. So we're going to use that to load trucks with that. Um, these are the things that we need for the brewery. We need Gersta, which is uh, uh, barley. And we need hopfen, which is obviously hops. We're going to need malts, already made. Wasser, which is water. And lear palatin. We need pallets. And what we get, the product that we get out is, um, it's going to be beer. <laughs> beer custom. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, we need empty pallets, water, malt, hops, and barley. And so we're going to have to produce pallets and do all that good stuff. So here, we're going to go over here and take a look. I think that's it. Those birds are getting stuck in my building. Um, this is where you put the pallets for sure. I think that's where the malts go. So they have pictures everywhere where those things go. So, yeah, the malts goes in here. Uh, you deliver it to there. That's where the beer comes out. Once again, let's take a look. I think I'm going to kind of go by that. Over here, what do we have pictures of? I don't know what that is. Maybe we can... What is that? It shows like hmm. that's beer cans. Those are beer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between those two, but there's something to do with that. I'll have to maybe look that up and see. Yeah, like here. Oh, maybe we get. Okay. Oh, I see. So I think that over there is where we can put. Uh, if we put um, hops in here, and it fills these up. And then we could put hops, or we could put barley here, because I think that's supposed to be barley, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to look it up. And then over here in this section, we are going to we can get these, um, what do you call those, kegs. So if you here we go, same thing here. Half malts, wasser, layer pats, and then we get bear. Bear fass. Yep, see there, and that's what these pallets are going to look like here. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, once again, though, I don't know exactly how we're going to do that, but I think there are two drop-offs for water. There's only one. We're going to fill this facility up with water. And uh, hang on, does it tell us if I get close to that sign? Once again, we'll stand over there. Beer fast. Empty pallet, water, malt, hops, wheat. Hmm. So I wonder, I think it must produce both. I don't know if you can differentiate where it goes to, because obviously these are both connected to one. Now, I don't have any hops, so actually, you know what, I can't make beer right now. That's right, I don't have any hops. 
So that is our beer facility, though. It's pretty cool, huh? So we'll figure out how to make this uh, work. Malts. We have the malt pallets of malts, and we have empty pallets to go here, and that is where we turn that out. So let's go ahead down the road a little bit and take a look. If you feel like you're at home on this map, it's because if you remember Westbridge, this is a remake of the Westbridge map. It's been out since Farm Sim 15. Uh, North Frisian Marsh has been a repeat customer um, on the Farm Sim series since 15. Um, so over here we have our um, lumber mill. This is where we make uh, our pallets. So the wood goes in. I'm not sure where. It goes in somewhere, and out comes... Uh, pallets <laughs> somewhere i don't know where the pallets arrive and we i think we also get wood chips maybe uh, i don't know what you get better pal i think we can just sell those uh, you probably you get lear pallets you get better pallets and you get hack schnitzel and you just by putting logs in here so we're going to put uh in wood and we get oh okay it's the output it doesn't say that we get breath of breather pallets see that on there outputs it says wood chips and breader pallets maybe there's another part that has the other, I don't know. This is definitely where the logs go in this section here. And maybe this is where the pallets come out. Those are the wood, wood stacks. And I think these are just for decoration. I don't think we get to keep those, but that's the wood stacks, some logs. And this is what the wood chips will be out here. We can take the wood chips and sell them off because they'll be left over. We can use them for fuel. Uh, I have no idea what those are, the stacks of wood, it looks like. Somewhere the pallets come out. Maybe here. This is probably where the palatin comes out, right? I don't know. I don't know. Never done it before. These are all new, part of the global company setup. Maybe they show up here. They must. Maybe they roll out here. That door opens and they come. Right, we'll see. We're going to be doing that pretty quickly into the game because we don't. We need to get that pallet started so we can stock up for the spring. We'll, we'll get our, our crops planted and then we'll start making pallets. Uh, over there we have a truck uh, used to deliver pallets around the facility because we have these three different businesses that are going to require pallets to be loaded. So I'm going to, you know, we'll use this truck as our pallet truck, um, whether we deliver beer uh, or taking malts or taking pallets, empty pallets. Here is the maltsery. This is where we need to, uh, this is what we're going to do to make malts. We can make this, I think, right away, right? Because you just need, yeah, you need pallets, water, and either barley or wheat. So we'll put all of our barley and wheat that we have in here now. You also get a side benefit of pig food. I don't know if you can sell the pig food, but if you can't, I might invest in some pigs. <laughs> just because, hey, we're going to have food. We might as well have pigs to go along with it, right? So uh, we'll have food being produced, and we'll make food for the pigs. So here we have over here a smaller uh, Torian 956 to move those pallets. So we have two of these smaller ones, and then we have a larger one. These just stay at the facility. Uh, they're not really, you know, for using anywhere else. But cool. So that's the, um, this is, so this is our, our mecca of mechanics. So we got the farm down the road, and we have this. And this is a cool area. So we're going to run down to the sawmill. I will be right back. Sorry about that. Seth needed to tell me something very important, that he's going for a walk. So we're going to roll down to Electric Avenue. Oh, and this is a service truck, by the way. I bought this specifically so that we could service those vehicles because they don't have a home base, really. And so where we're going now is we're heading over to the lumber mill. Here's our farm on the left again. So we got a lot. We got our work cut out for us this year. Uh, we should be able to get malts and pallets produced pretty quickly. But we're going to need to um, take that stuff and and store it up. Man, this is con touchy controls. And we'll store all of it up and and uh, really produ get producing this summer. I'm going to have empty pallets everywhere. What if you use pallets if you get them back? That's a an interesting question. So where we're going now, here's the southern end. You'll recognize this. Once again, this map should look a little familiar to you. 
because this is the BGA plant that made us so much money in Farm Sim 15, if you were a silage hunter like I was. The overpowered silage trick. So we own the uh, woods over here to the left. Um, there's a little forest that we planted, and we use it to uh, harvest trees, and uh, we will be replanting it here and there to keep it growing, but we have a nice grove of trees here that have been grown up over the years. And a couple pieces of equipment down here that we can use to transport them. Um, dang it, go straight. So over here is our facility. We don't really use the sawmill anymore because we have our sawmill over at the other place. But this sawmill is uh, here if we want to just sell wood. Uh, but we're not doing that. We're going to be producing stuff. So the hard thing is we're not going to make any money until we start selling pallets of stuff. Now... I don't believe we can sell malts, but let me take a look here. We could probably produce some malts and sell it. Let me see. Uh, what's that? That's not malts, is it? I think that's seed. We can sell pig food, though. If we get the extra excess pig food and we don't want pigs, we can just turn around and sell piggy food. What else do we got? Yep, you can. Well, we can sell malts at Hoffen. So if we want to, we can just take that and sell it. Um, we can even sell uh, pallets if we want. So, But we do definitely get way more money for selling the beer pallets. So it's, it's, it might be worth it to wait. Um, we can even sell paper. Look at that, cartons, paper. All kinds of businesses on this map. So that is pretty much the tour. So let's go ahead and back, head back to the main farm and get things rolling. I think this is going to be a great series, guys. I'm really excited to this because it's a little bit different, and we have a kind of a goal to work towards. Uh, but it's already there, but we have to work towards it. We can't, you know... It's going to be a little bit tight. We might have to keep our use our loan to survive the summer. Um, but we do have some things that we can sell. Like I said, eh, though, straw is not really worth anything anymore, is it? So I think on uh, with seasons, your your uh, your uh, collectibles aren't worth a whole lot. So we might rent a baler and make some bales and just store them if we get decide to get pigs. But I don't even have a pig. I don't have a pace a place for the pigs. I could, I guess I could put it over by the brewery. <laughs> and the employees would love that. My employees would all be mad because they'd be smelling pig food, poo all day. So maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe we'll just... Though we do have room on the local farm. Uh, like those couple grassy areas where we could put a pig pen. And I'd have to get a little, you know, some of the... You have to get the care stuff, though. That's the problem is that we need to, you know, we'll see. I think probably we'll just end up selling the pig food and making a profit on that, but we'll see. I think as the series matures, maybe we'll add that in and, and do that, but at first I think we'll just sell the pig food. <laughs> wink, wink. Maltzen. So here's the farm. Let's go ahead and get the field started. Um, I wish we could get a square plow, but... We're going to have to make two plow rentals. I'm going to get a small plow to kind of cut the field out because they're easier to uh, to control, and then we'll get a larger plow, and we'll go to town with that. So We'll pull this into our, our shed, our little house. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that tour. Like I said, I'm, I'm excited. This series, I'm... I'm I think this is going to be good. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And there we go. And my head stuck in the roof. <laughs> Ouch! So we're going to run to the shop and uh, get set up for the outside plow. The first thing I want to do, though, is rotate this cab because I'm, I'm curious as to how it works. Uh, what's it going to be? Control-B.
toggle steering mode. Change driving direction, A. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. And now this is front. Wow, that's cool looking. I wonder if they're going to come out with any of the options that these have. Like, I know these tractors have, like, a um, something that can go in the middle, like, that goes on top, sort of, and, and you know. We'll see. I don't think so, because, like, JCB had the ability to do that for a long time, and they never came out with any mods for the fast track. That has that tray that could take a sprayer or mowers. You know, it had like that cool tray on the back, and they just they never took advantage of that. So, so this explains why this has rear wheel steering. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is cool. So you don't have to wait the front of the tractor anymore because it's all you shouldn't have any issues with plows and stuff pulling it up. <laughs> it's so weird looking. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our trailers. And we're going to use this small plow to cut it. And let's see, this the big one, how many horsepower? 550? I think with the 5,000 model, we're over that, right? 530. Ooh, that sucks. We can't use the big plow. We could use the Salford, though, but the Salford doesn't work very well. Um, all right, what about this guy? 300, 550. Wow. We could use that, too. That actually would be... Let's see, that's 6 meters. How wide is the Salford? 6.2. So, yeah, I'd actually just rather use this roller mm -hmm, to plow it out. Let's do it. We're just going to do this, and we're going to lease it. So we'll just, that's all we'll have to use, since it's about the same as the Salford. Um... I don't recommend using equipment that's, like, heavier than... Wow, that's really cool. And the light's all reversed, too. That's neat. Except for the rear lights. We don't have the reds on the back anymore, but... Wow. This gives you direct, direct field attachment... <laughs> Whatever you call it. <laughs> Direct connect to the field. So we could use the cultivator behind it, but I'm not going to. We'll just... Because our cedar cultivates, so... Should be fine. So I'm going to run down to the end of the field here. We're going to open this up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to rescue my sweetheart here in a moment. <laughs> she said, you better not be asleep. Hang on a second, folks. I'll be right back. All right. Let's see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the destroy all fields button and let's see here can we set this to full disk arrow lower disk arrow select mode allow create fields why I'm going to drop that plop and we're going to just create a field all along here. Though this might actually be a created field already, so I don't know that we have to do this. When I get to the end of this, I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stop it, because I don't want to destroy the field. By the way, that's my wife boop booping me. So hold on. Let me get this done, this line done, and then I'll respond to her. Oh, Lord. Oh. Okay, that's not good. I'll turn Y off, and let's see what happens. Should not be creating fields anymore. It should still be ripping the grass up. Okay, it does. Okay, cool. So I don't have to... That's cool. I don't have to edge the field. I thought I was going to have to edge this out like you used to do in the maps, but this one's actually pretty self-contained. So I will go ahead and get this ripped, uh, and I will talk to you guys in, in momentarily. 
I'm going to rub my coffee cup on the microphone. See you guys in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and work on this. I'll be back in a little bit. There we go. Didn't get much done. <laughs> She's busy. So that makes me feel better because I don't feel I don't feel like I'm gonna. I was a little bit nervous I would mess the lines up, and uh, but I won't because this thing is in plenty of 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 horsepower for our setting. There we go. Pull, dang it, pull. It's actually struggling here. It's because I'm pulling it onto the cement. It's probably not a great thing to rip up gravel with a plow. It's like, oops, <laughs> damages the plow, damages the tractor, rips out your transmission. There we go. All right, so I'm like I said, I'm going to, I don't know if you guys want to see, maybe I'll run another pass here and then I'll, I'll, uh, get back with you when I get to the end of this field because this is obviously we're going to have a lot of work to do on these fields. We've got planting on all of them. Once again, this is going to be the wheat field. I don't think I need, but for malts, you know, we could produce some serious malts too with the wheat that we have. So maybe it's a good idea to grow wheat even though we don't necessarily need it, you know. The one thing I'm struggling with being around this direction is it's hard to keep your nose on the exact line that you want to be on. Now, I'm going to, I guess you could use that dot, the windshield wiper turner. Just keep that on a row. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty sweet. <laughs> I still wish that we had workable, like on uh, Farm Expert, how you have the workable mirrors. Oh, well, my wishes always go unanswered. All right, folks, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get this field ripped, and I will see you once I'm done uh, getting it all torn up, and we'll start planting our wheat. See you in a little bit. All right, folks, so I have finished plowing this field, and we're going to run over to the shop and grab a uh, cultivator. I've decided that I can't really run the cedar over plowed land because it's too bumpy. Well, some frame rates slow down right there. So we're going to grab a, uh, a plow. And I know this map is seasons ready, but I'm looking at the trees, and they're not changing. So I wonder if the textures are not going to... It's an older map, so we'll get some of the season's effects, but we won't necessarily get the look. But then again, maybe that's the geo for the area. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can find a geo for this map. There we go. Whoops, I just rolled it like out. Back out of the shop. Let's see if we can pick it up. It's probably too far away. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe, let's see, tab. Nope, it's not working, so. But that's okay, because we can also go into here, into the garage, and uh, look at the leased items, and we're going to go ahead and return that. And I'm going to look at, uh, call, look, we're going to look at Disc Hero. Um, and I'll probably just lease, let's see, this is 8.3, 16, uh, 400 horsepower. We have enough horsepower, so. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and rent this, right? How much is the rental fee? Six thousand. Oh, that's pretty expensive. Thirty-eight hundred. I mean, I don't mind running for a little bit longer if it, you know, costs less. <laughs> Let's see. Um, these are still going to be about the same price. Six meters. Six meters is what I was using for the plow. 7.8. We could use that. We could also use 10.2, 400. We could use this. 3,800. <laughs> Same price. 
Oh, this is kind of cheap. Let's see what this is. And this is all I need. I just need to roll. So uh, 6.5 meters. And the lease is only 586. Let's go ahead with that route, and we'll go ahead and do this. This is the, the actual uh, companion part to the piece that we were using before. Um, you can use them together to cultivate and plow at the same time. So let's go ahead and grab that. We actually don't really need this big of a tractor for this, but we're going to use it anyway because this is our pulling tractor. So we'll just get this roller out, and that'll flatten the, the dirt out for us. So there are certainly roller-style cultivators, and we see them quite a bit even over here. Let's go ahead and get that out there. And I'm going to start working the field here, and then we'll call it an episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. I am really looking forward to doing the brewery. It's going to be pretty cool to actually get product out of there and, and uh, <laughs> put it to good use. Hopefully make some money. It's weird because you're not going to be pulling money from crops, which is what I'm used to, but So there's the roller. And basically they're just heavy weights that kind of roll along the field and end up flattening it out, pulverizing the dirt back down again. So that's what it looks like in action. Essentially it's the same thing as any normal cultivator. And some cultivators are a combination. They have rollers built into them. So it's actually a pretty big roller set. So... All right, folks, so have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and we will see you next time on Farming Simulator 19, Kloss Farm. Bye.